Hello, I'm Brian Bindley, sitting in for Rob McClendon. Millions of commuters travel across interstate bridges every day without even thinking about it. But just how safe are they? After the tragic Minnesota bridge collapse, state transportation departments are taking a closer look at the dependability of our bridges. Researchers from the University of Oklahoma are testing a newly developed bridge monitoring system, a technology that can detect dilapidating structures and ultimately save lives. Our Jessica Betts starts us off. David Baldwin, associate professor of aerospace and mechanical engineering at OU, is the lead investigator of a health monitoring system for interstate bridges. The health being the, the bridge's continued ability to carry traffic. What we're working on is a, a sensor system to capture the, the dynamic response of the bridge to traffic as it goes across, as well as the analysis tools to be able to, to work with the data that comes off of those sensors. A long-term custom-made system now installed at a secret location on I-35. Underneath this span of the bridge, there are 15 sensors installed. With actual computers inside these small gray boxes, collecting data and calculating the motion of the bridge. If we can detect differences in the motion, through differences in the outputs of these sensors, we can start to see the degradation of the bridge over time. Information stored on this central computer. When we come to a bridge that has been in service for a while, we don't know what the, the pristine first use looked like. All we have is the, the behavior of it right now. So um, the, the best we can do is look forward. Baldwin and his team have also developed a smart shock absorber designed for trucks that can weigh up to 80,000 pounds. So the truck doesn't, doesn't bounce as hard on the bridge as it goes across, which reduces the, the load on the bridge, the wear and tear. Technology that Baldwin says may not be a cure-all, but is a step towards preventing unforeseen danger in bridge infrastructure. Francis Tuttle Technology Center students recently participated in a bridge building competition at the University of Oklahoma. The object of the competition? To design a bridge that will hold up under pressure. Jimmy Bowman is the pre-engineering instructor at Francis Tuttle. The bridge competition that we have going on here today is very, very specific. Because of the state uh, of the roads in Oklahoma, obviously there's a lot of interest in getting our bridges repaired. This competition allows our students to analyze a bridge, why it's successful, where it fails, and how to design a better bridge. 